Good day everyone, I am Mr. Bella, your teacher for today. In my personal message or in my comment section, somebody asked me how to multiply radicals with different indices. So that's why I created a video for you to know how to multiply radicals with different indices. So I have here example, square root of 8 times cube root of 16. So how do we multiply this? First, your your indices my indices must be the same. So your index here is 2 and your index here is 3. How will how will you make this the same? So transform this into rational exponent. So you have 8 raised to 1 half. This your this is your imaginary exponent 1 and this is your index 2. That's why you have 1 half times 16 raised to 1, imaginary 1 exponent, and then your index 3, so it becomes 1 over 3. Now, get the LCD of 2 and 3. That will be 6. So your 8, your denominator becomes 6. So how will you get the numerator? 6 divided by 2, 3 times 1, 3. So, 1 half is equivalent to 3 over 6. So, these two fractions are equivalent fractions. Now, we will proceed to 16. Again, the denominator is 6. So, this is 6 divided by 3. 2 times 1. 2. So, 2 over 6 is equivalent to 1 over 3. So, we did not change anything there. We just get the equivalent fractions by using the LCD. Okay, since this is now your uh, denominators, same denominator, denominator will be your same index. They have now the same index. So this is equal to 6 root of 8 cubed. So this is your index and then this is your power of 8. Then for 16 times 16 squared. So this is your index and this is your power of 16. Now, how to simplify further? You have 8 cubed times 16. Instead of multiplying it and make a big number, we will just use prime factorization to avoid uh, making it a big number. So your 8, uh, use its exponential form so, this is 6 root of 2 cubed raised to 3. 2 cubed came from 8. 8 is equivalent to 2 times 2 times 2. That's why I put 2 cubed using prime factorization. Then, times 16 is 2 times 2 times 2 times 2. So, you have 2 raised to 4 copy squared. So, this 2 raised to 4 is just 16. Then, I just copied squared here. Then, since you have the same base and you have power rule, you will multiply first this exponents using the power rule. So, this is 6 root of 3 times 3. This is 2 raised to 9 times uh, 4 times 2, you have 2 raised to 8. Same base, by product rule, you will just add the exponents. So, this is now 6 root of 2 raised to 17. 2 raised to 17 is not a perfect. So, you need to factor this wherein the exponent can be divided by 6. So, what is that number? So, that number will be 12. And since your power is 17, you will factor this out by 6 root of 2 raised to 12 times 2 raised to 5. 12 plus 5 is 17. I just factored it out with a perfect and not perfect. Now, 
divide the index, uh, use your index as the divisor of your exponents. So, this is uh, 2 raised to 12 over 6. And this 5 cannot be divided by 6. It will just remain inside the radical sign. So, this is now 6 root of 2 raised to 5. So, this 12 over 6 is equal to 2. So, your final answer is 2 squared. So, this squared came from 12 over 6. Then, copy 6 root of your 2 to the 5th is 32. 2 times 2 times 2 times 2 times 2. So, this is 6 root of 32. So, simplifying further, the final answer now is 2 squared is equal to 4. 6 root of 32. So, this is now your final answer. Okay, I hope you learned something from this video on how to multiply radical expressions with different indices. Thank you. Don't forget to like and subscribe in my YouTube channel. Have a nice day.